How to use the rank function in Excel. Here's a preview of what we will cover in this Excel tutorial. How does the rank function in Excel work? What is the difference between the Excel functions rank, rank EQ, and rank.avg? How to color code your ranked results in Excel so the highest and lowest rank are easier to recognize? How to rank just the top three results? How to rank in ascending order from low to high? How to use a very simple method that I call the tiebreaker bonus to avoid duplicates? And how to evaluate the relative standing of a value within a dataset? Let me introduce the dataset to you. This is a list of 10 YouTube channels in the fields of accounting, finance and investing, sorted in alphabetical order with their current number of subscribers. Let's rank these channels based on the number of subscribers in descending order from high to low. Let's put rank as the column header in column D and press enter. On the home tab in Excel, go to functions, more functions and type rank. The dialog box is going to help us with the function arguments of the rank function that we insert in cell D2. We want to rank cell B2 in reference to the list of the numbers of subscribers in B2 through B11. Let's lock the column letter in the number field with a dollar sign. And let's lock both columns and rows in the array, as we don't want these column and row references to change when we copy the cell or copy the whole column. Press OK and copy the formula down the column. We have ranked the list of channels from high, first place, to low, tenth place, based on the number of subscribers. Two channels both rank at number 8, as they have the same number of subscribers. In case of duplicates, the rank function in Excel then skips the next number. In other words, there is no ninth place assigned to anybody. The next channel gets rank number 10. This is okay in some cases, but in other cases, you may not want to have any duplicates and use a tiebreaker. We will cover a very easy way to avoid ranking duplicates later in this video. What is the difference between the Excel functions rank, rank.eq and rank.evg? Let's compare all three side by side. Let's put rank.eq as the column header in column E and press enter. On the home tab in Excel, go to functions, more functions, type rank again and select rank.eq from the list. As before, we want to rank cell B2 in reference to B2 through B11. Let's lock the column letter in the number field with a dollar sign and let's lock both columns and rows in the array. You can press F4 on your keyboard to insert those four dollar signs in one go. Press OK and copy the formula down the column. We have ranked the list of channels from high, first place, to low, tenth place, based on the number of subscribers. Rank.eq gives exactly the same result as the rank function. So is there any difference between the two? We can find that out if we go back to the function arguments box. The rank function is available for compatibility with Excel 2007 and earlier. Someday, the rank function might be discontinued in Excel. And rank.eq, which has exactly the same functionality, will be its successor. Why is it called rank.eq? Because rank.eq gives duplicate numbers the same, equal rank. Rank.avg handles duplicates differently. If more than one value has the same rank, the average rank is returned. Let's see what that looks like. We put rank.avg as the column header in column F. Insert the rank.avg function in cell F2 for number $b2 and reference $b$2 colon $b$11. The two channels with the same rank now each have rank 8.5. There are no ranks 8 or 9 in this list, but two values of 8.5. How to color code your ranked results so the highest and lowest rank are easier to recognize. Let's hide column E and F, copy over column D into column G, and update the column header to color. We select cells G2 through G11, Go to the Home tab in Excel, 
and press conditional formatting, new rule. Rule type is format only top or bottom ranked results. Then we edit the rule description. Remember that the lowest number, 1, is the highest ranking channel. Format values that are in the bottom 1, click format and apply a green fill. Click OK twice. Continue to select cells G2 through G11. Press conditional formatting, new rule. Rule type is format only top or bottom ranked values. Edit the rule description. Format values that are in the top one. Click format and apply a red fill. Click OK twice. The highest ranking channel, first place, is now shown in green. And the lowest ranking channel, last place, in red. How to rank just the top three results? What if we want to identify the top three and have no need to rank data that is outside the top three? Put top three as the column header in column H and press enter. Functions, more functions, if. We are going to nest the rank function in here. The logical test is whether the rank of B2 in the array $B, $2, colon, double, $B, $11 is smaller than 4. If that logical test is true, then we want to rank B2 in reference to cells $B, $2, colon, $B, $11. If the logical test is false, then return an empty cell. In Excel language, that is two quotation marks with nothing in between. Press OK and copy the formula down the column. Now only the top three get a ranking and everyone's, everyone else's ranking cell is empty. How to rank in ascending order from low to high? Let's put smallest as the column header in column I and hide columns G and H. We insert the rank function in cell I2, like we have done before. Number is B2, reference $B, $2, colon $B, $11. This time, rather than leaving the order field empty, we type a 1. This will sort the rank in ascending rather than descending order, from smallest to biggest channel. The ranking in column I is exactly the opposite of that in column D. Let's hide column I and discuss the most exciting part of this Excel tutorial. How to avoid duplicates when using the rank function. We have two rows with the same ranking, 8th place. Then the Excel rank function skips the next number, there is no 9th place, and goes straight to 10th place for the next channel in the list. Instead of this, we want the ranking to be continuous, 8th place, 9th place and 10th place. I have seen many people propose a solution to deal with duplicates, involving exceedingly difficult nested formulas. There is a much simpler solution, the tiebreaker bonus method. The primary criterion that we chose to rank YouTube channels is the number of subscribers. If that number of subscribers is the same for two channels, then we need a secondary criterion to differentiate just those two channels that are tied for the same place. Let's unhide column C. Our tiebreaker will be the latest number of monthly views. Let's provide each channel with a tiebreaker bonus in column J. We sum the number of views for all 10 channels in the dataset. The tiebreaker bonus for each channel is equal to the number of views for the specific channel divided by the total number of views for all channels combined. C2 divided by C$12. We want the tiebreaker bonus to be small. It should be smaller than one for each line, as we want to just resolve duplicates and not have any channels jump a rank in non-duplicate situations. The first channel in the alphabetical list has 5% of the overall views. The biggest channel in the list has a staggering 78% of total views. This is called a power law distribution, or winner-takes-all situation. The tiebreaker bonus for each of the two channels that are tied for 8th place is 0.01. So at first sight, it looks like this does not differentiate them. If we add one decimal, we do see a different value. We call column K the tiebreaker rank. 
which we calculate by taking the rank from column D and deducting the tiebreaker bonus from column J. This calculation increases the rank of each channel. The biggest channel now has a rank of 0 0.222 and the channels that were previously tied for 8th place now rank at 7.985 and 7.992 respectively. Now these tiebreaker rankings in column K are not going to make sense to anyone that you share the rankings with. Let's calculate the final rank in column L by ranking the ranking of column K. Yes, you heard it right. We rank the ranking. Insert a rank function in cell L2. Let's rank cell K2 in the array $K, $2, colon, $K, $11 with order value 1. Copy the formula down the column. The channel near the top of the list that previously had a shared rank of 8 is now the solo ranker in 8th place. The channel at the bottom of the list that previously had a shared rank of 8 now ranks in 9th place. Duplicates resolved. For report out purposes, it's probably better to hide column J and K. So users just see the original rank and the final rank and can easily understand that we get there by using subscribers as a primary and number of monthly views as the secondary criterion. How to evaluate the relative standing of a value within the dataset? Let's name column M percentage rank and hide column C and L. Functions, more functions, type rank and select percent rank from the list. We want to look at array $B, $2, colon, $B, $11 for value X, B2. We get the percentage ranking and copy the formula down the column. Let's make sense of these results. The biggest channel has a percentage ranking of 100%. It is bigger than any of the other channels in the list. The smallest channel has a percentage ranking of 0%. It is smaller than any of the other channels in the list. How about this channel over here? It is ranking in second place, so one channel is bigger and eight channels are smaller. The calculation of percentage ranking is the number of channels that are smaller, eight, divided by the total number of channels that we compare this channel to, nine. Outcome, 89%. What about percentage rank for the finest storyteller channel? It is currently ranking in 6th place, so 5 channels are bigger and 4 channels are smaller. The percentage ranking is the number of channels that are smaller, 4, divided by the total number of channels that we compare this channel to, 9. Outcome, 44%. The percent rank function in Excel looks at the number of channels in the dataset, not at the gap between the various numbers of subscriber levels. Let's hide all the columns that we use for the various calculations and sort the dataset by rank. Select the data table, go to the data tab, sort, sort by rank from smallest to largest. Such is the beauty and magic of using the rank function in Excel.